Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I hope you are enjoying our Spark interview question series. Please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. Please also give us feedback that how we can create more interesting and more uh, engaging videos and you know what are the other content that you would like to see. So let us discuss today's interview question. Today's interview question is what is difference between executor and executor core. This is a very common interview question and one thing I have noticed <coughs> that most of the folks uh, you know I have seen around 80-90% of the folks gets confused between uh, this this question. I, I really find it very difficult that why people get confused while answering this question uh, uh, because it's very straightforward uh, anybody who has basic knowledge of sparks architecture should be able to answer this question so let us start with the answer so uh, so question is what is difference between executor and executor core so executor is basically a java process yarn container you can think of it as a yarn container running in running on one of the node managers machine like one of the slave machine uh, it's a yarn container running on one of the uh, slave machines and executor core is a number of threads is, is the thread which is started by executor suppose uh, you know you might have noticed that when we start a spark job we give number of executor and executor cores as one of our parameters you know uh, if, if you're using static uh, resource allocation uh, in that situation executors are the number of processes Java processes JVMs that are going to start on your cluster and executor core are the number of threads or number of cores each thread normally occupies one core uh, executor cores are number of the cores CPU cores or number of threads which are going to get tied with that executor process and those will be the number of parallel tasks that executor will be able to do so uh, if you if you have used spark streaming uh, generally uh, you know you can tie your uh, uh, one receiver you know to receive data from Kafka uh, with one executor and executor cores can you know process those that data that is coming in so uh, you can start two executors uh, on two different machines and those can those two executors can be tied to different partitions of Kafka and respective executor cores can take care of processing the tasks related to the feed related to the uh, messages that will be pulled uh, from uh, spark streaming if you have not understood the spark streaming part please ignore that uh, simple thing that you need to understand is that executor is the J JVM container yarn container which is started on uh, yarn cluster and executor core are the is the thread which is uh, which is part of the executor it is a sub part so it's, it's a thread of the process I hope uh, this is clear. If you have any questions, please post it in your com in comment section. I'll be very happy to answer your questions. Please subscribe to our channel and share the videos. Thank you.